What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video, yes, we got one. We had one before. It's a 2020 Hayabusa, the last of the Gen 2. Now, this bike has been around forever and when I mean that, or what I, when I say that, I mean that 2008 and newer is when the Gen 2 Hayabusa platform started and this is the last of the Gen 2. Now we are on to the Gen 3, which in America here is a 2022 and newer. European models, they call them a 2021, but for us here in America, it's a 2022 and newer. And the 23s are out. I actually got one myself, this exact same color in a 23, but we're, what we're gonna talk about today is, did the 2022 slash 2023 Gen 3 is it a true upgrade from the 2022? So this bike here, super, super clean, just clicked 4,000 miles. We just put brand new tire on it and we're about to see what kind of power this thing makes after we flash the ECU and dyno tune it. Then we're gonna overlay it with the graph of a brand new Gen 3. Stay with us guys, here we go. All right, so let's talk about modifications. This bike's got just a few, but they're the few that you, in my opinion, are a must have. The first off is an exhaust system. This customer has chose the Brox Performance Pentacarbon. I hope you're getting a good view here. The sunlight is shining in on our dyno room, throwing the camera angles off a little bit. But anyways, the bike has Brox Performance full exhaust, so that's from here to here, the whole header, everything and a Sprint air filter. Other than that, no other modifications have been done. Now, the ECU has been flashed by yours truly. He had what they call the mail-in flash. Should be really close, should be really accurate. We're about to put it to the test and see how it does. We're gonna run this bike the way it is, then we're gonna fine tune it and tweak it and dyno tune it to get everything perfect on 93 octane pump gas, then we're gonna look at those dyno graphs and compare some here in just a few minutes. Let me know also too, comment in the comments below, what do you think about our new microphone that's new to the channel? We've done it in one or two other videos, but and we learned that the microphone didn't do too well with the bike running. So today I'm gonna to be talking with this microphone, then I'm gonna unplug it, and the part where we're actually running the bike on the dyno, that's gonna be all with the GoPro microphone, the factory audio. Let me know, does this video sound better? And we finally got it figured out and dialed in. Here we go, baseline pull. Hopefully you hear me okay. baseline pull is in 175 horsepower and 107 foot pounds of torque not too shabby but a brown 9 and 10,000 rpms the bike is too rich meaning getting too much fuel i'm going to go in and adjust that to make this bike as happy as possible get the air fuel ratio dialed in let's see what kind of power we can get out of it then towards the end of the video we're going to overlay it see how it compares to that gen 3. So I made a few pulls without you. We're working on getting the tune dialed in just right. And we gained a few horsepower. We're at 179.94 and 108 foot pounds of torque, which are really good numbers. And look at how nice and smooth that power curve is. Now this thing has also gained some fuel mileage as well. 
so we can't necessarily see that on the dyno, but as I'm cruising around, the thing was a smidge on the rich side. I leaned it out, corrected that air fuel ratio. That's going to make it drive a little better get, and get better fuel mileage as well. Another thing too, I noticed that when I put, first put this bike on the dyno and I was gassing on it, it was puffing out a good bit of black smoke. That probably means that the guy that owns this bike doesn't beat on it a lot. In other words, he just cruises around, enjoys the bike, which there's nothing wrong with that, but every once in a while, these things like a little bit of beating. You gotta clean them out sometimes. So as this thing, the more it runs, the more it's starting to clean up and the better it's starting to perform. I'm interested to see what the final numbers are gonna be and how this thing compares horsepower wise to the Gen 3. How does it hold horsepower versus just make horsepower? Here we go. The air fuel should be dialed in pretty close to perfect. Let's see how it does and how it sounds. the dyno tune on this thing finished up the tire broke in i guess you'd say i'm gonna say it got broke in anyways the thing got better and better and better and better you see i just turned my flashlight on you can see that thing is brand spanking new but the hotter that tire got the better the performance got on the dyno now i don't truly believe i gained as much horsepower as i did and what i mean by that is the mail and ecu flash was not that far off for it to gain the horsepower that it gained. I think that the brand spanking new tire was hurting us a little bit on our baseline pull because the hotter the bike got, the more the tire gripped the drum. So the dyno measures horsepower based on how fast the tire turns the drum. Well, if the tire is slipping on the drum, then it's not turning as fast as it can. So it's not gonna make the true show the accurate horsepower. That doesn't mean the engine isn't making it, Long story short, the bike was too rich and we know it gained power, but 183 horsepower is what we finished up with and 112 foot pounds of torque. Really good, really smooth, really even. Air fuel ratio, nice and straight. Exactly what the customer came here for, of course. Now, 
Let's overlay the graph of a 2023 Hayabusa. It's also gray in color. You can see the video that we did on it. We'll drop a link here. Check out that video. Brock's alien head or pentacarbon, I can't remember. Basically, exact same setup. Sprint air filter, Brock's performance exhaust, 2023 Hayabusa. Let's pull it up and overlay it. Boom, the blue line. So there you can see it, guys. Blue line versus the red line. Look at how close <laughs> these bikes make power. So the red line is the Gen 2. It looks like the Gen 2 squeaks it. Right there, the Gen 3 is ahead. That's at 55,000 RPMs. The Gen 2 is ahead, but here the Gen, I'm sorry, the Gen 3 is ahead, but the Gen 2 passes it back at 7,500. Then the Gen 2 is ahead at 9,000 and it pretty much stays ahead the whole way. Gen 2, Gen 3, tit for tat, they're pretty close to the same horsepower, guys. The Gen 2 actually shows a little more torque. Now, is it because this bike has 4,000 miles, the other bike we had had a couple hundred miles? I don't know, that's a debate that will never be known. You tell me, comment in the comments below, is the Gen 3 Busa worth the money or is the Gen 2 your forever bike? Me personally, I think with the way things are going with the whole electric bike thing, I mean, we got electric cars, electric bikes, you know they're coming now. I don't like them, I don't think they're cool, but in the end of the day, that's gonna be the way of the future, guys. Are these old school? I call them old school. They're 2020s, they're not old. But is this internal combustion engine the last of the big bad boys? I mean, is a ZX-14 and a Hayabusa, are they ever gonna be outdone? Or will some electric, <laughs> that's me making electric engine noises. Is that the new thing of the future, guys? Comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Gen 2, Gen 3, which one would you choose? If you have one of these bikes, whether it be Gen 2, Gen 3, or Gen 1, hit me up, moremafia.com. If you like the way this Brock's Performance exhaust system sounded, or if you want to get a sprint air filter for yourself, you go to Brock's Performance website. Use the code moremafia5. You can get yourself 5% off. If you don't know how to spell More Mafia, if you don't know how to spell the letter five, go to moremafia.com. I don't know how you're gonna figure out how to spell that. Click the link in below, there you go. We got a whole discount codes page. I have all kind of different websites that you can go on and save yourself some money. Check that page out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you wanna get your ECU flash, send it in to us, we'll get you fixed up. If you wanna get a dyno tune, call us. The number's on the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, smash the like button. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.